Christmas is over. And if you're lucky, you'll have more to show for it than about two extra stone. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If I look slightly fatter now, it's because I am. Because I ate my own body weight in Turkey and I had gravy intravenously inserted into my body. The new year is on its way and I figured in order to get ready for it, in order to make sure that I'm capable of making brilliant, amazing, superbly entertaining and informative content for you guys, I figured I'd better clear up my workspace, get everything ready. Unfortunately, I've reached a bit of a problem with that plan. Problem with that plan. The problem is all of this stuff. I have a lot of new Pima stuff and nowhere to put it. So today, me and Laura already were going to be going to Ikea. So I decided while we're there, we're going to buy some sort of cabinet thing. I'm going to make something to store all of my swords and all of my masks and shit like that. But unfortunately, in order to do that, I've got to say goodbye to Nathan Drake. The Uncharted 4 standy has to go. Honestly, I don't really know why I still have this. I sold my PS4 in order to buy new swords about two months ago. So I can't even play the game anymore. And to be honest, I thought it was just okay anyway. I got given this for free by a lady in the supermarket. She was very nice. But it's the end of an era. Now it's time to go. I miss you, Nathan. You, you did me proud. Let me tell the guy. Good, good guy. Good, good. Anyway, that's enough. That's enough. So out he goes. And in we go to the new year. Here we are at IKEA, land of meatballs. We are here looking for a. Where is it? No, it's called a Hij, Hij, Hijni. I found it on a Facebook Hema group written by a Mike Bernstein. So it looks pretty good. Well done, Mike. And you win a portion of Swedish meatballs. So enjoy those. If you wish to claim them, you know where we are. You know where we are. You don't know where we are. That'd be a little bit creepy. What did you find? I found a baby. You can pick them up at IKEA now. They're only cheap. He's gonna grow into a great slave. So I've ended up holding Benjamin, Benjamin, the internet, the internet, Benjamin. I don't know how I'm gonna carry large flat pack furniture and him. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but that's what it's all about. It's all about the challenge, isn't it, mate? You can't tell, but that's him saying yes. Whoa, it's me being filmed, filming me being filmed. Freaky. Inception. Inception, Laura. So this is take two. Uh, we went to Ikea yesterday, but we forgot. Well, I say we forgot. Laura. No, I paid for, for it. Laura. I paid for it. I think it fell off the trolley. A piece of the gear, so we're going I back paid to for it. Ikea. I no, think you, it fell off the trolley. Well, it's that's... on the receipt, it must fall off the trolley. That's even worse. But you went off on your own. You so paid for it. Fault. You paid for it. I had a baby. I had a baby strapped to me. You have no excuse. So we're going back for a piece of the stand. And then I'm going home like to pounds. build. Yeah, but what? It's not a point. It's very glary in here, very. Makes me look like Jesus. So I just realized up until now that I've had my camera on crazy exposure. That's why everything's been ridiculously bright. I didn't even know how it worked and I googled it and it was a really easy fix. So, so far this video is going incredibly well. And this is what we had to come back for. This tiny metal rod. Let's get building. Don't even need the screwdriver. So easy. Oh, Ikea, you make the job so fun. Do Swedish people invent Lego as well? I 
kind of makes sense. You can come down, come down here with me. There you go. Oh yeah, perfect shot. Have you ever seen a sexier Pyrenees in your life? Here we go. This is how it's done. Put this. Well, I lost a piece of paper. Oh, shit. The first rule of DIY is do it first, measure later. You fucking did this to me, Mike. Could have lived a happy life. Now I'm stuck I'm trying to put this freaking thing together. Where's the, where's the, where's the pamphlet? Where's the goddamn pamphlet? This is for all those people out there who say you can't build a shelf in a room this size. You don't know shit. Han. Can you come here and move the camera towards me? <laughs> this is not going well. What was that TV show with Tim Allen where he used to make... Home improvements, that's it. I'm a little bit like Tim Allen, right? Yeah. You know, Jesus was a carpenter. Carpin... Com, carpenter? Carpin... Carpentor. He was a carpentor. So here we have the basic frame ready. Now comes the hard part. These shelves come in packs of two. So you have to buy two packs, but we only need three shelves. We're gonna be hanging our swords in between these two. So that and it's gonna drop down between so we have to get rid of this middle slat here I don't know if I'm gonna be able to okay no not gonna be able to pull it out Han! can you have a look for the hammer downstairs it's our anniversary today so this is pretty romantic <gasps> she's got a hammer Happy anniversary, Happy Han! Anniversary, Tell me I'm like Tim Allen. Yeah, I'm so like Tim Allen. In Santa Claus. Yeah, the bit where he's got the See, it's belly. clever because it's. Alright. <laughs> Hooray! I'm gonna use movie magic to skip to when the shelf is attached and the front bits are attached, okay? Six and a half hours later. So for the last part, it's looking pretty good, but we need to attach these to stop it from... Oh shit, I think there were screws in there. I'm the construction guy. People come to me when they need things fixing. How the fuck do I do this? So this video was supposed to be released three days ago, but unfortunately there was a problem with a refresh rate on my camera. I was getting loads of scan lines on the footage. I actually managed to fix it, so you probably can't tell in the final product, but that's why it took a lot longer to release. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you all for subscribing and watching my content. 2016 has been like one of the best years ever for me. I always wanted to have a YouTube channel and I, I never thought anyone would be interested in watching my stuff and I never could have imagined in a million years that I would have as many subscribers and viewers as I do. So this year there's going to be a whole lot more content, hopefully more frequent uploads, a lot of sword vlogs because you guys have been asking for them. I'm hoping to go along to a few tournaments as well and I'm gonna vlog that. 2016 was amazing. Fingers crossed 2017 will be just as good. Thanks very much for watching guys. I'll see you soon. I'm tired. This is what Noah must have felt like. Do you think you can buy an arc flat packed from Ikea? On a real cut to that body. Uh... Yeah. Laura had a hot dog, even though it was her fault 
that we forgot the thing. Oh, she, fuck off. Yeah, she had a treat. Oh, I'm fucking sick of you.